All right, so next thing you're gonna do, make sure your clay is a little drier. It should be on the dry side of leather hard, or in this case, uh, mine is bone dry. So uh, you're gonna add wax, not the wax we use for the um, your Sager vessels. This is a wax resist, it's, it has to do with glazing. So wherever you're gonna put wax, the glaze cannot go. You're gonna cover, not the inside, but on the outside, you're gonna cover your entire uh, mug with wax resist. Okay, so after it is all covered in wax resist, make sure you let it dry. It should dry very fast. And it's just one thin, quick layer. No drips, please. Make sure you get rid of your drips. Um, I use some paper towel under it, because again, it is wax, okay? It might be sticky stuff that you do not necessarily want to get on anything else. So make sure you clean your surface area. And that paintbrush that you use, make sure you really wash it with soapy water to get rid of all the wax in there. Okay? Uh, let's get ready for the next step. After this is dry, I'm gonna show you the next step. Okay, so now that the wax is dry, with a pencil, I can draw in where I'm gonna add my illustrations. So, can you see that? See, that's just drawn in with pencil. And I started up here. So I'm going to continue with pencil first. And then I'm going to go over it with my needle tool to scrape through, to scratch through the wax. Okay? Hopefully you can see it. So your pencil's okay if you make some mistakes, right? That's kind of like a sketch on top of the wax and it will burn away anyway. But whatever you're gonna scratch in with your needle tool, is what is actually going to be permanent. Careful for all the clay dust that you collect that, that it doesn't end up on the floor. All right, you're going to finish your entire drawing like that. You can use a dry paintbrush to get rid of all your little chunkies there. Okay. Use a dry paintbrush to get rid of all your little dust from your drawing. Make sure all that clay dust ends up in the trash can, not on your floor. You don't want to breathe it in. And now I am ready for underglaze. Okay, so you need a bowl with water in your sponge. You need your paintbrush and some black underglaze. Remember, the outside, everything is waxed. So wherever I'm gonna put the underglaze will not stick to the, um, to the waxy part. See, here I did my engravings. You see what happens with the wax? And then I'm gonna get my sponge, squeeze all the water out. I'm just gonna wipe it away. Just like that. And remember, the wax will burn away during the bis firing. Continue your entire mug like that, okay?